Hi. Certainly been a while. When I first started this idea about doing a podcast where I just talk nonsense, so you know there be there are, you can play something in the background so you can get distracted. I didn't think there'd be so much pressure to make the next one. It came to notice to me that a lot of people kind of enjoyed it, and every time I meet my classmates, they keep saying, "When is the next one coming out? How's it going with the podcast?" And I get the idea. I don't think they're really interested in me. In making the next episode, I think they're more interested in, in like poking me, like, "Hey, you said every Monday. It's been, it's been a while. Where is it? The fuck? <laughs> you never. You, you, I I forgot how. Whenever I talk like this, I have breathing problems where I forget to breathe, and it's weirdly distracting sometimes. Where to start? Soft free guy, you know that Ron Reynolds movie that took forever to get out because of COVID, uh, and it's all right. Nice, not great. It's not bad either. Uh, it's got it's got moments where like, if I mean, it's very hard to describe it. It's not. I'm just bad at describing things. I I just did not give a fuck. It. Characters either come off as weirdly one-dimensional. What's what is that fucking robot's name? The fucking I gotta look it up now. I gotta figure out fucking Alexa. You know, it's not like Alexa is actually sentient. It just has pre-programmed. Like uh uh uh, for example, you know, you know, you know, you know. I can't remember. That's not me dissing the movie, saying like, "Oh, it has a forgettable plot." I have terrible memory. Like, uh, how do I? In general, movies, I, you know, if it pops up in your streaming service, give it a watch if you got, you know, some time on your hands. Anyways, oh shit! Uh, a while ago, I was watching uh, the Tiny Meat Gang podcast, and they were talking about uh, Charlie D'Amelio's show on HBO Max. And how they mentioned how it would have been funny if, like, uh, Charlie D'Amelio's dad, whenever the cameras trend on him, he starts acting like way over the top, like he's he like he hasn't been spending Charlie D'Amelio's money. Uh, and I watched that ages ago and I was laughing, but I watched it like a couple days ago and thought to myself, like, what if that's the reason Charlie D'Amelio agreed to having a documentary made about about her life? So that there would be other people inside of the house recording her, and that for a brief moment, her dad or maybe even her mom have to act like, "Oh yeah, sure, uh, Charlie, we love Charlie." Oh yes, we don't use the money that Charlie o- Charlie D'Amelio earned. We just fucking. I haven't seen Charlie D'Amelio's show yet so i can't i don't know if that holds up maybe i'll wa- i'll maybe i'll watch it a couple episodes for the next episode you know when that comes out in next year <laughs> ages ago i was watching my friend uh, do his stream and he uh, told me to do a uh, captain marvel review you know captain marvel that movie that came out in god when when did captain marvel come out God, 2019. That feels so long ago. Anyways, what happened... Okay, what happened was I watched it. It's weird trying to hype myself up to record this podcast. Because, like, you know, there's the first stage where I'm just like, you know what, I'll record it. I have time on my hands. I'm in the waiting process of a lot of things. I should just sit down and record this podcast. But then, like, I get everything ready. You know, I... I've ditched like putting the blanket over my head because that becomes insufferable. Once I do get a job, I'm gonna buy you know proper shit so I don't have to, you know, suffocate myself with heat to record a podcast. I I just ditched that so it's more comfortable for me. Um, the problem is is that once I get everything set up, you know, get the mic, get my computer, place my phone against the the books, and I sit down, my mind fucking blanks, and then I just instead talk think about like. What's the point of me doing this podcast? Genuinely. Uh, because uh, I kind of think like, 
well, there's so much content, you know? We're almost like, it's, we're almost, <laughs> we're almost crushed under content. There's so much, like, there's so many goddamn streaming services. There's so many videos and, you know, books, movies, TV shows, music, you know, fucking Dungeons and Dragons stuff. There's so much stuff out there to distract yourself with. What's the point of me making this? You know, um, is it because I want to create something? Is it because I want to do something, but I can't, I'm too afraid to do something big. So I just do something doable, like record a podcast and frame it as like, oh yeah, I'm doing this for others, but possibly I'm doing this for me. Maybe. Am I really just doing this so I can distract myself because other media doesn't do it for me? Possibly. Who knows? I'm distracting myself so I don't have to think about that. Uh, I don't know. That, that became depressing. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> I got to think of something else. Quick nerd, think of something very entertaining to think about. Uh, God. Being described in a magical or, you know, supernatural or, like, sci-fi item is kind of, it's like, it, it appeases me. It's like, you know, fucking, this scientific gun can shoot portals that you can, like, walk through and, you know, you can place them anywhere you want. Or, you know, the Infinity Gauntlet, once you have the, you know, the, the fucking gems of whatever the fuck, uh... What are they called again? Fuck. Infinity stones, yeah. This gauntlet that way if you put all the infinity stones and you can do whatever you want as long as your willpower is strong enough. Nah. I, I kind of enjoy that. Like, I, I enjoy, like, f discovering new stuff, new, f like, fictional stuff. It's why, like, sometimes at, like, 2 a.m., I'm, I'm on my computer staring at my screen because... I'm going through like a whole uh, <laughs> website about, you know, magical items that you can find in Dungeons and Dragons, like, you know, like from like the overpowered stuff to the just complete nonsensical stuff. Like, um, here, give me a second. I just gotta, I gotta get something. Okay. Like, uh, you know, this is a magical item that I got from buying the essentials kit. It's a, uh, a cloak of billowing. And the description, it's only like three sentences long. And it's, while wearing this cloak, you can use a bonus action to make a billow dramatically. That's all it does. And I enjoy finding stuff similar to this because it's just, it appeases me somehow. Like, this is such a dumb magical item. I want it so badly. This is amazing. I, I can't probably describe it. Like the joy I get from like discovering creativity like this, even like, even like I say creativity, like this is like a dumb idea. Like I can imagine a drunk wizard being like wanting to feel dramatic because, you know, lately their intros or their entrances to battles don't feel, you know, strong enough. So one night while they were drunk and, after snorting ketamine, they made this cloak that, like, <laughs> with like a swish of their hand, they're gonna make a they make their cloak just fucking feel, look like thunder and wind is like blowing underneath it. And I don't know, it's like I keep trying to find other items like this where it's like it's dumb, it only has one purpose, but I have a huge interest to find something like this and use it in real life because. Having this in real life would be fucking amazing. Imagine if I go to any party at all and like, you know, everyone's boring ass interests where they, you know, kick the door down with their feet and be like, what's up, bitch? Or, you know, bring in jinx. Imagine me walking up to your party with a dumbass like wizard hat with some stars on it, a giant fucking stick I found on the walk over there and my cl cloak is just fucking billowing and I can say, fools, pass me your vodka shots. I don't know what impression that was. But point is, is like, I like finding shit like this and I lost my train of thought. I don't know how I started this conversation. 
how how bad did the Mandarin look in the comics again? Like, there's the modern version, you know. That's all right, but I'm talking about, like, the old school. There it <laughs> oh, oh, God. Look at that shit. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's, uh, that's hard to look at. <sighs> God damn. Yeah, for anyways, like, I'll put the second image here, like, fucking there. But, like, the rings he has are supposed to be, like, you know, the just as powerful as the Infinity Gauntlet, I think. I need to do more research into it. Maybe, there you go. More things to talk about in the next one. Oh, fuck, I forgot to talk about the Mario movie. You know what? Fuck it. We'll extend this. The fucking Mario movie and its cast. I saw it on, Nintendo, on the Nintendo Direct live stream. He just poked out of nowhere and says, Hello, here is the cast for the Mario movie. And then I was... I, it was weird because I it was I, I felt like I was in a fever dream because like uh, I, I didn't get my light bulb fixed. So I was in the dark staring at my screen being like, OK, the cast for the Mario movie. Let's see what it is. And then <laughs> I took a picture of it uh, that popped up and I was like staring at my screen for a couple of seconds thinking. It's not April yet. Oh, 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 okay. That, okay, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Oh, that was my fucking reaction. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to pay money to watch this because I feel like I'll be more entertained from the new Mario movie than I will be for, you know, shit, it wasn't pronounced Shang, Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi. Uh, free guy, Captain Marvel. I'm gonna watch the Marvel movie, and I know for a fact I'll be a hundred times more entertained. And you know that I can talk about that in some other episode if I do it. No, next year. No, I re- no the year after that. Um, but hey, we'll see what happens. I'll see you later, and I hope this video and audio was worth the wait. It's probably not. No, no, it is. I'm the fucking greatest. We'll meet again. Don't know where.